I've always been a gearhead at heart. It started when I was really young. Started building go-karts. And then it progressed cars, jeeps, boats. Whatever I could get my hands on, I would try to rebuild. And yellow is a color that, that I've always been drawn to. I've owned a yellow Jeep, a yellow Toyota 4x4 pickup, and now two yellow airplanes. And that was a cold start. So I prime it at least six to seven times when it's cold out. I pull it through eight blades, and then I turn the mags hot, and usually it goes on the first or second blade if I've done it right. Anybody that's seen Big Rock's Lung Props Volume 1, this section right here was one of the lead-in scenes to that video. And the video here is just so much clearer with the resolution that we have nowadays. Check it out if you get a chance. These first two spots on the upper section are brand new. You don't get to see my reconnaissance. I did that ahead of time. But I've never landed them before and so both of them are brand new. The air is almost dead calm, and unfortunately, with that in mind, my touchdown speeds at 2,000 feet, full fuel, the camera gear and my survival gear I have on board, is around 48, 49 miles per hour. It seems really fast. I got out and shot some drone footage. This is my first chance to really use the drone. Obviously, I need to do a little more practice with it, but it's kind of cool having this as my new capability to show these spots from an aerial point of view, especially when I'm by myself. This first spot that I landed was really no big deal. It did get my blood pumping a little bit and got me ready for the next spot, which is a lot more difficult. There is just logs and driftwood debris everywhere. There's um, really only about 300 feet of usable if you used everything and that means going off the end. So precise touchdown is mandatory and lots of braking action at 48 miles per hour to get stopped and I'm landing down river. So this next one's pretty much on the tight side of things. I really should have a GoPro mounted on my GPS so that you can see the touchdown speed. The GoPros also make the perspective look a lot longer than it really is. Well, I've decided after landing at 48 miles per hour that a stock wing with stock flaps, stock ailerons, stock angle of incidence, maybe isn't exactly how I want my cub to be. So my next step is to actually do mods in a progressive way. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the washout out of the wing. The next step, I'm going to build new hinge blocks for the spars to change the angle of incidence. You can raise the front by a quarter inch and drop the rear by a quarter inch and gain a half inch total in angle of incidence pretty easily on a cub. I've already put VGs and gap seals on the elevator. And then the next step after doing those mods is to either extend my current flaps two inches on the trailing edge or pony up for pistol flaps from Airframes Alaska, which is probably the route I'm going to go. I actually looked at this gravel bar a couple times. I looked at it going downriver, and then I looked at it going upriver. And I decided that the rocks on it looked a little bit intimidating. 
and it was pretty short for the speed I was going to be landing at unless I really got slow in the water. I've landed this one before. I actually landed it a couple weeks ago in another video. It has a nice sandy section. It's still a little rougher than it actually looks, but it's a nice little section to land. So, I already had in mind that I was landing the gravel bar upstream from this mossy bar, but I figured I'd take a good look at it as I flew around the corner here. Right as I'm cutting to the right, there's a group of starlings that cut back to the left hard. Without using any water, I used all of this gravel bar. I had maybe, I don't know, 25-30 feet to spare here before my tires would have gone in the water. So I was talking about my airplane landing fast and I'm going to document each of those changes in a video and then I'll share it when I'm all done. I won't share it as I go. I'm just going to make a video of each thing that I do and then I'm going to record the results and then I'll share it at the very end. So I had let my tire pressure down pretty low. I think I was running about 2 or 3 PSI, if I had to guess. Coming around this corner for this last gravel bar, it felt like I was going to drag my wing. It actually is a lot tighter than it appears in the video. And um, to get my tires down on it at the very beginning is pretty hard to do. It just feels like you're, you know, flying around that corner, um, especially, you know, with the ground speeds I was seeing while I was up there. But I had a fun day, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit subscribe. Um, I, there's a little bit more at the end. i show you how to do a hot start. You know, all this information about hand propping, every airplane is a little different. But these are the things that usually work for me. So um, if they don't work for you, maybe there's something unique to your particular airplane. Uh, they're all a little different, so just adjust accordingly. Okay, on a hot start, wide open throttle. If it doesn't start, clear it. <laughs>